My hair is still budding. I mean, like, you know, there hasn't been a whole bunch of changes other than it's locking. Like, there hasn't been a lot of length. Um, in my opinion, I don't know. I look at myself every day, though. So you guys tell me. Um, I haven't seen, like, a whole bunch of difference in the length or anything. But, like, the thickness and the budding, for sure. Like, um, I can't do certain things I used to be able to do. Like, my little fake go-to style would be, you know, like this half up, half down, and then do this top in a little top knot, but my, my locks are so thick that now they used to be sticking right up when I try to do a little top knot. Sometimes I can get it done, but most of the time, this is what I'm rocking. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to start spraying down my hair and we're going to get right into it. So... Let's talk locks. Um, obviously, there has been a lot of talk in the lock community about that new law that they passed about um, basically being able to discriminate locks in the workplace. And at first, I wasn't going to say anything about it because so many people had already made videos about it. And they weren't saying anything, you know, that I, I didn't, you know, mostly agree with. But the thing about it is, okay, we, well, maybe we don't all know this, but this is nothing new. They've been doing this for a long time. Um, I'm sure a lot of lock veterans have been discriminated against at some point. And if you haven't, you know, that's, I'm glad that you haven't, but you may have been discriminated against. Okay. So, um, but the part that nobody really had said that, I was thinking about is okay these companies can decide not to hire you for any reason they want even if it's your hair they can pretend like you weren't qualified for the job or you know whatever reason whatever reason that they want if they don't want you working for their company if they want to keep a certain image and you don't fit the you know fit the description or whatever um but for them to purposely say, no, nope, I want to not hire you because your hair. And I want you to know it's because of your hair. Like, that's the part that messes me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't want us working for you, then okay. Don't hire us. Hire Becky. But the fact that you purposely want to let me know Oh, it's because your hair, that's why I don't want to hire you. That's to me is just, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Our hair is, there is nothing wrong with our hair. Like our hair is not made to be straight. You know what I mean? It's not, <sighs> we don't have European hair. So we have kinks and curls. We got the stuff. I was about to cuss, but I'm going to try to keep this PG-13. We have the stuff that people are paying to get, okay? The curly weaves and the perms and um, the extensions and all of that stuff. That's the stuff that grows out of our hair naturally. And you're going to tell me my natural hair is unprofessional? Like, my natural hair. Like, I didn't have to alter my hair in any kind of way to get it like this, but this is unprofessional? That's BS. It's just BS. And that's, it's just crazy to me how, um, how, you know, it's unacceptable in certain people's eyes. Um, so recently I was thinking about, um, locking my daughter's hair. Now I have a toddler and I was thinking about locking her hair because, um, first of all, she hates getting her hair done. Like, she hates getting her hair done. I hate to fight her to do her hair. I mean, every day, it's like a battle. It's like, like legit a battle trying to do her hair. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I wasn't prepared. Okay, so it's like a battle trying to do her hair, right? So, um, I was just going to lock it up. 
And that was going to be one of the reasons why I was going to lock it up. Another reason I was going to lock it up is because I want her to be comfortable with her natural hair. And, you know, I think that anything that you show interest in, your your kids will show interest in it. If, if you show, you know, if you show interest in it, you introduce it to them, you make it, you know, normal to them and they see how you embrace it, they will too. I just, I believe that that's just, you know, you train a child up. So I was going to do that and, you know, I got a lot of people and family members mostly and some friends saying stuff like, um, don't do that to that baby's hair or, um, no, her hair is too pretty to lock up. Okay. Let me tell you why that pisses me off. Because is that supposed to be like, um, is that supposed to be like a insult slash compliment or something? Like, I don't get it. What do you mean her hair is too pretty to lock up? Do you have to have a certain type of hair um, to lock it? Is my hair not pretty because I'm locking mine up? Like, what are you trying to say? Now, I know that locks aren't for everybody. Like, I know that. You know what I'm saying? I know locks aren't for everybody. It's not everyone's thing. Cool, whatever. Just like I have locks, but I chose to go with the bigger locks because I didn't want micro locks. Um, that that wasn't my thing. Um, but I would never tell anybody, oh, don't get micro locks or don't get sister locks. Your hair is too pretty for that. Like... I don't know. It just bothers me when people say say stuff like that. And I'm still, you know, trying to decide if I want to lock my daughter's hair up or not. But it wouldn't be because of that reason. Like, I'm thinking, okay, part of me is like, don't lock her hair up. Let her make her own decision. And, you know, if she wants to lock it up, then she will. But just, you know, let that be her decision. And then the other part of me is like, mm, no, I'm her mom. I make the decisions for her. So I'm just going to lock this up. But um, so I'm still deciding on whether I want to let my daughter, um, whether I want to lock her hair up or not. I think it'll be gorgeous either way. Um, her loose natural hair is very pretty. She hates to get it done, though. I mean, like, I know every little girl hated getting their hair done. But, like, y'all don't understand. She 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 loathes getting her hair done. Like, it's legit a fight. Um, and it takes too long. It takes too long. I locked my hair up because I didn't have time to do my own damn hair. Like, I definitely don't have time to be fighting with her just to get to her hair. So, um, but then I was thinking, like, okay, but the retwist, though, she ain't going, she ain't going to be feeling no retwist. So, um, I don't know. We, the jury is still out on that one. I don't know if I'm going to lock her hair up or not yet. But on the contrary, um, now my son, he is 11 years old. He's going to be 12 soon. And he wants to get locks. Now y'all tell me if I'm wrong for this. I told my son he can't get locks. And before y'all get upset with me, let me tell y'all why. We already know that there's a stigma that goes along with locks. And we already know that the risk that black, young black men have to face without even having locks. So the fact that, and my son is a very outspoken, you know, wants to be funny, thinks he's a comedian type of kid anyway. And he's had, um, you know, some behavior issues in school, not to the point where like he's going to get expelled or anything, but let's just say he likes to be the class clown. But, you know, although he's a good student, when you this and you the class clown, a lot of schools don't have time for you. They're not going to make time for you. They're going to, you know, write you off as, oh, he don't want to learn. He want to play, whatever, whatever. And so I just don't want him to get locked because I don't want to add to the pressure that, you know, you already, to me, you already got a target. 
on your back and, you know, letting you get locks. It's just at this time, I don't feel like, you know, it's the best. I don't feel like it's the best decision at this time. Now, I did tell him once he gets a little bit older, once he's once he establishes himself um, as a student, as a, you know, whatever career, like once he gets a little bit older as far as like college, <laughs> then, you know, um, and your education speaks for you. Hey, do your thing. Get your locks. But, you know, until then, I'm... I don't think I'm feeling it. You know, I don't think I want him to get him. And I know that that's kind of me being a hypocrite, but also I just have to deal with the reality of the world. Like, you know, everyone doesn't see him as my baby. I see him as my baby. You know, somebody might see him as this dreadhead clown who, you know, just wants to make jokes in school and is not serious and looks like a thread and looks like a bad man or whatever they say. Um, and so I just don't want to, I don't want him to have to deal with that. You know, like maybe the next couple of years when he starts to mature a little bit, maybe, maybe I'll change my mind, but I don't know. It, it's messed up because he's like, Oh, well you're thinking about doing it for Ryan and I am, but you know, she's a girl and he's a boy. Not saying that she might not be, um, you know, discriminated against as well. She very well may be. But I'm just saying that the chances of him being discriminated are a lot bigger than it is for her. And, you know, don't act like there's not sexism in society today. There is. There's a lot of it. So... I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. I I know I'm just kind of rambling, but just these things have been on my mind. I don't think I twist this this way. I think I try to twist this the other way. I swear every time, well, I'm saying every time, like I've been doing it for a long time. The last time I palm rolled my hair, I was like, oh, let me make sure I remember which direction I palm rolled. Y'all think I remember? I don't remember. I'm hoping it's this way. I know I said I was going to do this with some olive oil and castor oil, but it wasn't accessible to me right then and there. So <laughs> I'm so lazy I didn't go and get it. So now this has become a water only retwist. We're going to see how that works out. Hopefully it does something. I might have to sit under the dryer or something. Y'all, I have not sat under the dryer in so long. I don't want to sit under nobody's dryer, but I ain't putting nothing on this retwist. And I know I ain't doing this for no reason. So I might have to sit under the dryer. But, um, yeah, I'm such a rookie. It still takes me like forever to retwist my hair because I don't be doing this. Like, I'm really not even about this retwist in life. I just, my hair was kind of getting a little crazy and my co-workers were starting to be like, oh, like kind of giving me that look like, oh, so when are you going to retwist your hair? And I wanted to be like, I'm not. <laughs> but I guess I'm just going to say, I guess. So anyway, I guess I'm going to show you guys the finished product because I'm not about to sit here and record this whole time and try to retwist my hair. So um, see y'all in a bit.